Na gut, dann würde ich sagen, Extras. Gibt Achievements? Okay. Read all the letters, okay. The other story, complete all minisets. Discover all secrets in the game haben wir offensichtlich nicht. Okay, also gibt es wahrscheinlich auch noch mehr von den hier Achievements oder, von, oder irgendwelche, ach, keine Ahnung, was das Secrets sind. Read all letters, complete all minisets. Das können wir jetzt machen. Äh, fangen wir mal an. The Morg. Okay. Here I have the police and medical report. The letter is still blank. According to the police, the deceased name is Father Ernest Glynn, the man who immolated himself. Also, burnt himself. Um, das ist gut, dass wir das nachher spielen. Wenn, ich meine, das konnte man auch schon von Anfang an auswählen. Dann hätten wir ein bisschen einen Spoiler gekriegt. Also, ich meine, man könnte es Foreshadowing nennen, aber äh, das ist eigentlich... Ich meine, und wir sollen es ja offensichtlich erst hinterher spielen, weil es ja da jetzt, nachdem wir den, die vierte Episode durchgespielt haben, ähm, da unten ex als quasi als nächstes Chapter auftauchte, dieses Extras. Ähm, das ist seltsam, dass man das schon vorher spielen könnte. There must be something wrong with the water pressure valve. Okay. Anatomical model built of actual human bones. Of actual human bones. Okay. Ja. Aber ich meine, es besteht zumindest die Gefahr, ne? We will see if the police report is right. Good Lord, what a mess. The skin is all scorched. Cause of death is probably shock caused by the sudden birds. Ach so, das ist der, der, der verbrannt hat. Dafür sieht er aber noch relativ hell aus. Um, a horrible way of passing. What could lead a man of God to commit such an act? God? Nee, the bird. All that remains is to file the medical report so he can receive the proper treatment a fine gentleman deserves. Also nicht in einem Schuhkarton, äh, in einem kleinen Holzbox beerdigt zu werden. Oh ja, das hätten wir... So, so, ja, ich mal. Sollte ich nicht vielleicht erst die Instrumente benutzen? The case still puzzles me. If he wanted to commit suicide, then why did he do it in such a painful manner? Was he drugged or intoxicated? I should check his stomach. Okay, good. Uh, stomach, dafür brauchen wir Skalp. Uh, okay. Uh, Alright, the stomach looks fine on the outside. Ich meine, ich weiß zwar nicht, wie du dann rauskriegst, ob er intoxicated war, wenn du in den Magen guckst, aber gut. Now I should cut it open to check its contents. Ah. What is this? There's something strange in here. A key? Nee. It looks like a piece of paper. Ja. Äh, Pinscher. It is a note. Ernest Glynn, Jeremiah, David, Alexandra, Dupree, Hoi, Hoi, Hu, Hugo, Hugo, Ashton, Ashton? Gott, ist das eine schlechte Auflösung. A complete note with four names, one of them crossed out. I think I should inform the inspector immediately. Ashton? Irgendwie sowas. Okay, wozu haben wir die Schere gehabt? Hm. Francis Baldwin. After being certified of your guilt by peer jury, we find you guilty of the wicked and violent murders of 14 innocent and sick people. War das der, war das der, der Typ da im 
hospital? Because of the sentence, I'm hereby authorized to execute you at this very moment by hanging to death in the sight of God. Would you like to make a final statement before we proceed? Why will you say that I am mad? You should have seen how mercifully I proceeded. Okay. I saved them, I released them, now they are in a better place. Do you still believe I am mad? Uh, okay. <laughs> Ich glaube, das war unser, Angre äh, unser Attacker, der uns da, da angegriffen hat. Ne, das war ja aufregend. So, jetzt gucken wir uns das nochmal an hier. die Kollegen an. Okay. Erst Report schreiben, dann aufschneiden. Scheint mir nicht die richtige Reihenfolge zu sein, aber was kenne ich mich dann aus? So. Scissors. No. Wozu haben wir diese Scissors hier? Können wir die an uns selber benutzen? Ich meine, wir könnten den Report zerschneiden. Offensichtlich nicht. Ist das nur, damit man eine größere Wahl hat, was man hier... Jetzt die Note vielleicht zerschneiden. Nee, kann man nicht. Hm. Ah ja, ist vielleicht noch irgendein Secret. Wonder in the Fog. She is the only survivor. What happened to the others? They are all dead. <lacht> I would like to talk to her. Okay. She has spoken only nonsense since she woke up. Number of remedies in China glass jars. Now that Catholic monastery. Miss Parnell staring meditatively at the small plant. Is that the one der der aus dem Hospital? Was? Nice view over the cliffs. Bitte nicht rausspringen. Good afternoon, my name is Johan Kaufmann. I'm a doctor. Would you mind if I ask you a few questions? Please be careful with what you ask. Miss Parnell's state is delicate. I'm perfectly fine and able to talk, sister. Thanks for your consideration. Now, doctor, I understand you want me to repeat my story. I would be thankful to hear it indeed. I'll stay outside if you need me. Yeah, hop, hop. I'm a sane woman, Doctor, in complete control of my mind and reason. You do not dare to question it. I certainly wouldn't. Then I will commence. I woke up in the dark. The room was small, so narrow that I could touch the wooden walls just by raising my elbows. 
inside a coffin, you idiot. This was after the attack. This happened right after you were attacked. No, I think quite some time passed since that. I can barely remember anything of that while. When I got out, I found myself in my parents' house. I hadn't been there since since they sent me to school. Uh, were your parents there? Did you see anyone there? Your parents or maybe someone you know? No, they were not in the house, nor was any servant I had known in the years of my childhood. I was alone. I could feel the humid air on my skin and could smell the scent of the long time abandoned. I walked the rooms and settled by the silence. This place had the bleak feel of a ruin. Then I saw someone in the opposite end of the corridor. An old woman stared at me. Who was she? How should I know? I hadn't seen her before. I followed her out through the back alley and into the streets. I got lost in the burg of Aberdeen. The streets were deserted and a thick fog covered everything. I thought I had seen the old woman through the fog once or twice, but they could have been just shadows. Did you see anyone? So the city was empty. No, not completely. I met some people, vagabonds. One of them was a priest. I remember a novelist and a boy, too. Tell me about the priest. I met him in a stable. Good lord, he sat mass there among the beasts. Could you imagine the profanity? What the novelist? The woman had never written a word. She created only in her mind, you know? Okay. Also, was du mir in der Vergangenheit über Paper geschickt hast, ist angekommen, wenn du das wissen möchtest. Okay. Ich hätte gedacht, dass es da irgendwie eine, so eine Confirmation-Dings gibt, aber... Nee, also ich kann das, kann das bestätigen, sozusagen. Ähm... She created only in her mind. She could tell the stories sentence by sentence which, with perfect precision and I could even hear a piece of her last work. What was the piece about? Yes, the piece she told me was something like The shadows of the past soon melted within the land that loves silence. Through the fog they walked, found themselves lost. Hoping for a sign from the gods, they set, up, they set camp on the beach where thirty birds awaited to meet their crown. So the boy, what about him? I came across an abandoned carriage. The horse was long dead, its bones still harnessed to the cart. There was a young man petting the carcass of the animal. Ja, jeder hat so seine Hobbys. Did you talk to the boy? He was deaf, but I think I could read he could read my lips. When he spoke he did with a clear accent. He said he could only listen to the songs of the departed. What happened then? As I walked the fog got denser. I could barely see anything around. I finally met the old woman. She didn't say a thing, but gave me a cardboard card. Then she left. She gave you a playing card. It was one of those used to tell fortune. There was a drawing on it of a veiled person holding a lamp. Ja, wenn das waren wir wahrscheinlich oder so. Oder. Then the mist seemed to clear out and I could finally see. What could you see? Barren land, bathed by roaring waves. There were thousands of birds, and then I realized there was something else. What was it? It was there, it looked at me, the burning dark inside, the shaking, the scream. That vision that I cannot understand. What is it, Doctor? I have a fi finally lost my strength of mind? Believe your story? I believe you, I'm sure that what you lived was real. Den zweiten Teil hätte ich nicht unbedingt gesagt, so als Doktor. Aber gut. But I'm afraid that I currently lack any proof that can confirm your account. I'm sorry. I should leave. Thank you for your time. Great, Doctor. I have something else. When I first woke up here, there was something beside me. 
Would this be enough proof? It looks like a tarot card. Okay. Beatrice Wack. Ich kann nicht sagen, dass ich das jetzt eben einfach verstanden habe. Äh, wer sind wir überhaupt? Der da. I knew it would come to this. Your father was a terrible mess of a man. I'm only grateful that he brought you to our home soon enough. Not long after you were born. I hold no doubt that you will learn from his bad example and grow up to be a righteous gentleman. What could there be greater than the efforts of mortals to rise from their miserable condition? Does not look dead, but just asleep. I barely knew him, busy as he was traveling the world. What would be... What would be of man with no inspiration for the other side to inspire or lead him? What the heck? We sp We'll speak later, young man. Okay, dann bitte so. Wir busy. Ja, ich bin ja auch nur der Sohn des Toten da. Da muss man nicht freundlich sein oder höflich oder sonst was. This is so sad. He was most dearest to me. Okay. You know, your father was a complicated man. He had a strong character and was stubborn as a mule when he had taken a determination. He believed he had a mission in this world, though I'm not sure he knew exactly what it was. That which avoids description, the unknown, provides men with a reason to exist. Redest du jetzt mit mir? Okay. This is an obscure domain. It's secrets taken by men from the silence of nature and death. You're the young Beechworth, is that right? Your father left you everything, Anthony. The house, his accounts, and all his belongings. Ah, this, okay, Anthony's the one. For you to receive when you come of age. He was very specific in his testament, though, that you should receive this promptly, his personal book log. These are the memories, uh, the memoirs of my life, my research and knowledge of the other side. Okay. Use them wisely, son. Hat er getan? Hat der Beachworth den Philosophy Club gegründet? Weiß ich auch nicht. So, haben wir jetzt hier ein weiteres Achievement gekriegt? Ja, haben wir. <lacht> okay. Ja, ich meine, es hat ein bisschen so Stimmungs drumherum gebracht, aber jetzt so wirklich äh, viel rausgezogen habe ich ansonsten nicht, aber was ist, sollte es wahrscheinlich auch nicht. <lacht> ja, uns noch nicht mal. Okay. Ja. Okay, das waren die Extras für Season 1. Dann würde ich sagen, ähm, sollte es für heute auch gewesen sein. Ähm, wir machen dann nächste Woche weiter mit der zweiten Season und Episode 1, logischerweise. Und dann äh, würde ich sagen, für heute bedanke ich mich fürs Zusehen, äh, für eure Aufmerksamkeit etc. Und äh, ja, wünsche euch noch einen schönen Restabend, eine gute Nacht. Und äh, ja, dann, wenn ihr mögt, bis nächsten Mittwoch mit Season 2 äh, auf Last Door. Vielleicht, ich meine, wir, te technisch gesehen sind wir jetzt ja durchgegangen. Also vielleicht äh, Spielt Season 2 dann in der Land, also hinter dem Vorhang oder so. Okay, ja, dann äh, bis nächsten Mittwoch.